In this session, we're going to demonstrate the auto numbering feature in iThoughts. Now, for that, we're going to look at Saturday. So, we've gotten to the weekend, and I've added in some things for us to do on the weekend. So, we have to feed the dog, we have to buy some groceries, we have to cut the, cut the grass, and we have to apologize to our neighbor for that thing we said. Awkward. So, in order to do that, uh, or in order to add auto numbers, sorry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the topic that I've selected here, so the, the parent topic to these four things. I'm going to right click here and you'll see you get this pop-out menu and I'm going to come down to where it says auto numbering. Now it then gives you the option of starting at selected or starting with children. As you'd probably guess, if you say starting at selected, it'll basically number from the topic you've selected and work its way down. So if we then had a whole load of additional subtopics of all of these, the numbering format would continue to work its way down. So for sake of argument, let's do it from here just so you can see how that would happen. So auto numbering, starting at selected, one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. And you'll see you get this 1.3.1. So the sort of thing that I associate with kind of research papers and if you're having to cite sources and that sort of thing. And for that, it can be very useful. Personally, I find this kind of format a little bit confusing and I'm only ever gonna to wanna to use this, which I'm about to show you now, which is just a much simpler one. So we'll just remove this by pressing Command Z to undo it. So what I could say is I could say, I want to number these four tasks, maybe because I'm gonna rearrange them by order of priority or the order in which they need to be done. So I'm gonna right click on to do's I'm going to say auto numbering starting with children and I'm going to say one two three of course you could have ABC Roman numerals whatever you like so I'm going to say one two three and it means it's just numbered these subtopics which for me is a little bit clearer now what you'll notice about this which is kind of handy is that if I now drag these around to reorder them the numbers will automatically change so apologizing to the neighbor that's probably number one priority otherwise things could get uncomfortable so if I now drag that to the top you'll see that becomes number one and everything else becomes two, three, four. How you choose to use this or how this helps you is entirely up to you, it's very personal, but like I said, it might be a means of prioritizing things or putting them into the order in which they need to be done. So there you have it, auto numbering. And to remove that, you simply click on the same place and you say, so where whatever your source was, wherever you click to add them, you simply come back and you say none. Or if you've just added it, you could of course do Command Z just to undo it. Hopefully that's all you need to start using auto numbering in iThoughts.